Evening. I'm an ex-con myself. Done over four years behind the door in six separate jails. However, turning my life right now while trying. Just wanted to share a quick video about COVID-19 at HMP Nottingham and the disgraceful lack of healthcare and humanity from staff. Man has it on concrete grounds from a solid source that one lad, one brother, only 25 years old, lost his life with a padmate present as well on Sea Wing, now known as COVID Wing. Now, this is not uncommon in HMPs up and down the country, let alone at HMP Nottingham, to lose your life. However, when you have a padmate, well, we all know that even at the worst establishments like HMP Nottingham, you should still be able to get help. But this poor brother who lost his life had been complaining for three, four days about having blatant COVID-19 symptoms. <sighs> what can I say? He couldn't breathe, his pad mate said. His, he couldn't breathe, he was sweating, coughing, his condition deteriorated for his last, mate, last night and the pad mate was on the buzzer all night. The poor man couldn't move, couldn't eat, sleep, couldn't do nothing, couldn't, couldn't drink apparently. He was begging for help, his pad mate was screaming, banging at the door all night. Nothing, no screws, no medics, just leaving him to fester in that cell. Horrible. And with a pad mate, you, pff, wow. We also know City Hospital's only just round the corner from the prison. A tennis ball's thrown away. For anyone who don't know, it's about a five minute drive, tops. For anyone who don't know the area, so it's shocking to leave a brother for days. Then on his final night, his pad mate begging, screaming for help. Me personally, I'd have lost my shit in that cell. Lost my shit, especially if it was a close friend or, or a mate, somebody I knew in the prison or out from the outside. I'd have done anything to get my pad mate help. That, that cell, cell had been smashed to bits, especially in those circumstances. I've been told the kid who's still alive is traumatised. The pad mate, it's easy to see our PTSD, anxiety, depression, and various other mental health conditions can be developed or caught. Caught like this virus, COVID 19, that's killing people up and down the country, let alone in this prison system. But it's not being reported, though, is it? It's being kept under wraps. But this poor lad was only 25, who lost his life at around 7, 8 a.m. in the morning. I've been told he passed away. They unlocked him at about 7 a.m., which is just before unlock. The normal unlock time, for anyone who don't know, is around 8 a.m. So they didn't specifically run to his aid, did they? It's about 7 a.m. They was already in the prison. They didn't make any special grounds there, did they? to help him. It's uh, this dying man got on lock really with the rest of the jail. Alarms quickly rang, so I got told on see wing, everyone got banged away. Back up rapidly. My prison source, my friend, then watched the medics try pump this poor man's chest for time. The staff went went on to work on him for around an hour, sprawled out on sea wing's landing. My source was in the cells opposite and watch this terrible death, this preventable death, a sad death. Even my friend and source said it was sad to watch, watching a man die like that. Bearing in mind this death was end of March or April, early April, I believe, I'll check the dates and post it. Now it must have been end of March, I believe, because at that time, don't think lockdown had begun, but it was imminent and just about about so in my eyes and the man's eyes in there the screws didn't believe this brother who died when he was complaining about covid 19 symptoms in the days prior to his death do you know because covid was just coming around 
I don't think the screws got a fuck or understand what was happening. They probably thought it was Mamba, but it weren't Mamba, was it? At that time, the world was just starting to learn what COVID is and does, as this poor fella learnt the, the, the hardest way. Unfortunately, God bless his soul, RIP. My poor, poor jail source and friend, who's just starting 32 years for manslaughter and conspiracy to commit robbery, is one of the biggest problems in the East Midlands, yet still said it was very sad to watch. And I can imagine, if it's sad, it's sad. If my source is saying that, you know it's one of them ones. So you put yourself there, put yourself in them shoes, being in the cells opposite, hearing this man, man's padme on the buzzer all night, banging at that cell door, screaming. And he's told staff for days as well. No good. The lads had a, a minute or a two, min, two minute silence on sea wing landings for the poor fella, not longer after his death. This death was preventable. It must have been shocking, suffering, sweating, coughing, struggling to breathe like that in them tight soles. And on sea wings, it's vents. It's his little horrible vents where he can't breathe no air out of it. Wing landings for the poor fella, not longer after his death. This death was preventable. It must have been shocking, suffering, sweating, coughing, struggling to breathe like that in them tight soles. And on sea wings, it's vents. It's his little horrible vents where he can't breathe no air out of it whatsoever. Not no little windows. Soon after this death, sea wing became COVID-19 only wing. And my source got moved off that wing, fortunately, thank God. He's now at Lardham Grange. God bless him. Quick shout out to ex -Con Cody for sharing this video. And quick shout out to Kurt Guy, the realest source and the staunchest friend. Keep your chin up, brother. All normal prisoners and general population serving prisoners and prisoners families respect. This is new media. Help the real prisoners in there at the minute with no visits. And stuck in there 23 hours and 45 minutes a day while this COVID's going on. Banged up, fed at the door, as Cody has said before on videos. Stay safe and reach out to them and share stories about COVID-19 in HMP. Peace out from Copping from the Midlands. Thank you. God bless.